Welcome back. It's still Morning Rush on Metro TV. I'm just here to just jam start, to prepare you for today. And we've done a lot. Um, we are crossing over to Desmond, who came in to give us this traffic situation at a particular place he's situated at. But then we are crossing back for him to give us more details about what is happening, then have an interesting conversation that has to do with road safety. Desmond, if you can hear me, take over. Yes, no, no, yeah. Um, I'm still here at the kind of traffic light, and as I mentioned earlier, the traffic situation is now building. Uh, but we're about to have a conversation about, uh, you know, the the reason why we are losing a lot of lives on on our roads. And uh, already for the third quarter of this year, we've lost about 1,801 people on our roads. And this morning, I'm going to have a conversation with Reverend Cyril Crab from the Accident Victim Support Foundation. So we get to talk about this. How do we, I mean, the conversation keeps, it's like a cliche now, but how really are we going to solve this issue? So I'm going to invite Reverend Ian, Reverend Cyril Crab will join me here so we can have this conversation. Reverend, good um, morning. Good morning. Great. 1,801, isn't that too much for, you know, just the third quarter of the year, number one people who have died on our roads? Mm, yeah, um, yes, let me greet your cherished uh, viewers and uh, everyone who is watching at the moment. Yes, 1,801. Uh, well, one life lost is one too many, so it's not something that is so palatable. But I can assure you that uh, it's, it has even reduced, comparing it for the past five years, uh, th four years, three years, and even last year. You know, last year we had about 3,000 people dying. Uh, we've not gotten to 2,000 yet. You know, it means that the National Road Safety Authority and its stakeholders have done a great job by reducing it, I think it's about 15 or 14 percent. Mm. And to me, it's a good news because we wouldn't have a lot of, you know, victims uh, on us to support, you know, and we wouldn't have people who would uh, will, will be uh, invalid for the rest of their lives or we'll have families who will, be, which will be scattered, especially people who will be tearing here and there. So for me, it's a good news and I pray that whatever mechanism that they put in place, the capacity that they had in place that they used to reduce it to this level, going forward or before December, we shouldn't hear more than 2,000, but we should try and bring it to single digits. We are saying that to the end of the year, we should all to, at least in the future, we should have zero fatality, which is possible, okay. or zero injury. Mm -hmm. And so if you are hearing this news today, it's a great I mean, I mean, news or compensation to us. Well, what, what is the metric like? Is it private vehicles, public transport vehicles, Okada riders? Just give us the details of that. Yes, um, all of them play a part mm -hmm. in getting to this level. Okay. Um, quite recently, the police services started something we call PARI. The parry is the motto that they have speech, uh, people that they have trained, especially okay. that when they get to the interception, mm -hmm. they stop yeah. and every Okada rider stops there. Now, with the police people today, they have their helmet on. And so when they get there, people who doesn't have their helmet put it on. All of these have helped, including the, uh, uh, the, the, the token number that... Uh, uh, the National Road Safety had that is a 194 okay. that people keep on re re reporting incidences that is on our road. Mm -hmm. Aside that, the continuous advocacy, mm -hmm. you know, continuous advocacy by all the stakeholders, DVLA, Ministry of Transport, the Ghana Highway Authority, the National Road Safety, and then the police have helped to get this, this, this level. And it's our prayer that they will continue because if the advocacy do not go, drivers will not get to know, to adhere, and then begin to comply. You know. But with, with the road crashes, I, I want to understand, are we having, again, private vehicles getting involved in more sure, road crashes sure. or public you know, buses getting involved in the crashes? For now, we are looking at more of the private cars. Mm. For the past three months, okay. private vehicles have been in the lead of the crashes. You know, they've been the lead and then followed by Okada. In fact, it's Okada that inflicted the, the, the crashes. Mm, okay. But this year, for the past three months, private drivers have been in the lead. It's just that we are praying that going into uh, the Christmas, you know, the rush hour and the way mobility becomes very yeah. stiff yeah. when we are going to festive season, the commercial drivers probably may take the lead. But for now, it is the private drivers coming back, uh, followed by the uh, Okada, and then, then the commercial vehicles. Then it comes to these um, intercity or intracity buses, which gets involved, you know. That, uh, now, now, you mentioned November is here. We're getting into December, and every year it becomes a problem where we have more of the road crashes during this period. 
what really should we be doing different this time around to make sure that dam reduces, that people are able to travel to their villages, to wherever they want to go for Christmas, and come back safe? Mm. Well, I would advise what drivers or motorists should do is a deliberate intent, deliberate intent to adhere to the regulations that have been put on the roads. That is the traffic lights, your seat belt, you check your speed and over 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 speeding, overtake, wrongful overtaking, and all the rest that the National Safety Authority, including the DVLA or the stakeholders, have put in place that we are championing. We should make the deliberate effort. Aside that, we should also look at the road markings which are not there. I would give it to the Ghana Highway Authority that we should add deepen the road uh, markings. So these drivers driving by night, uh, the markings will be visible uh, to, to them. And also so if we can fix our traffic lights going forward, I have to say it because it is it is a madness now. It's yeah, a canker. 40, traffic lights, 40 traffic lights. And wherever I get to, they ask me, Reverend, this traffic light is not working. In fact, somebody almost fought with me over a traffic light. Because I had to go and stand in, get off from a car, my taxi, mm -hmm. and then stand in and direct, and direct. And, direct. and they said, what, what is the road safety doing? It is not the, it's not mandatory on the road safety to do that, but we have a sector that is in charge of that. With the road safety, when it gets the report, would mandate those people or would have to ask people to comply, to fix the traffic. And they are the Ghana Highway Authority. And so I will use the opportunity to tell the Ghana Highway Authority, okay. now it's a problem. And if care is not taken, the traffic lights which are not, you know, working or it's not being fixed could cause a lot of problem because they are entering into the rush hour. We are in November. Yeah. Thank God this is the number we are seeing. You know, going forward, we shouldn't add more, if you ask me. But if we'll have to work hard not to add more, then the traffic lights must work. Aside that, police must also be visible on our roads and highways to check because, you know, um, motorists, especially those who travel, the moment they see the police, they check themselves. We are talking for, uh, with drivers. Now we have to talk to the passengers who are in the, in the buses. You don't have to impress on a driver to overspeed. You don't have to disturb a driver. But how about the, the, the passengers actually trying to tell the driver to slow down? And uh, I mean, most of it, the drivers will say, and I can the car, all of those exactly. things. Exactly. You see, it's a social contract, not to only one person. Okay. You know, these uh, commercial buses have a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So they've all signed a social contract. Mind you also that their safety is very paramount. Okay. To get to arrive alive and stay alive is also very paramount. So you can't enforce or impress on a driver to do just one person person's bidding. Okay. That will be the Satan's job. Mm -hmm. You don't have to allow the devil to use you to kill a lot of people. We don't want to spill any more blood. So you, as a passenger, don't impress, don't disturb, mm -hmm. and make sure that you rather be a checker on the driver, especially if he's over speeding, wrongful, overtaking, and he's doing things that would not, you know, uh, put you at risk okay. to get to your destination. Mm -hmm. Then, no, Okay, I, I just wanted to wrap up with what you're going to say. Um, in the, the two months, November, December, from the National Road Safety Authority, your quarters, what will be some of the activities you've lined up to make sure that we have a accident-free, uh, you know, uh, Christmas holidays? Yes, with the National Road Safety Authority, they are yet to rope in their uh, program, but I know very well that they will come with the end of year program. We at the Accident Victim uh, Support Foundation, uh, Ghana, we've roped in a, 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 a program already. We are doing the this month is the uh, Accident Victims Awareness Month, okay. where we're trying to let people know uh, the, the increasing nature of the accident, the increasing nature of the crashes, and the blood that is being spilled. And so we started the uh, Zero Fatality, Zero Injury campaign, okay. which is the slogan for our uh, month of uh, accident victims That's awareness okay. we've also launched the i support accident victims okay. uh, I, I didn't bring my my, my board yeah, but I, 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 I unfortunately time is not on our side yeah. i would have to do this uh some other, other time, time yes, yeah. but, uh, quickly i want drivers to know that mm -hmm. zero injury zero fatality is possible we can reduce road crash even to the barest mini minima. Okay. So we should do, we should put in the effort okay. to make sure that wherever we are going, we would arrive alive okay. and stay alive to enjoy the festive season. All right, thank you very much, Reverend Cyril Crab is with the Accident Victims Support Unit. And uh, so there you had him. We had November getting to December. Let's make sure that we have an accident free, you know, uh, two months or Christmas holiday. So yeah, I came to you live from the Kanda Traffic uh, Lights. My name is Jesmond Okrekuda.
us. But I want to say a uh, big happy birthday to the Ice Man. This is coming from uh, Josiah, uh, the producer of the show. He says happy birthday to you. Today's your 50th birthday. And of course, you're a big, my legend. All of us grew up, <laughs> grew up watching you. So happy birthday to you, Iso Pele. So that's it from here. Uh, Nanaya, if you can just uh, take over in the studio and wrap it all up. Thank you very much, Desmond, and uh, thank you for bringing us that information. December is right uh, in the corner. We have to stay safe to, I mean, enjoy the holidays that is ahead of us. My name is Anaya Tanoabwache, and um, up next is Good Morning Ghana with Dr. Randy Abe. Tomorrow we'll be back to end the working week. Enjoy the rest of our programs.